Good morning. On the off chance you stumbled across this video without being introduced, my name is Jacob. You might also know me as Seeker Foxkin, the avatar of Loki, or Jackram Donajari, a former High King of Dagger Deep in the LARPing community, or Falling Crow in the gaming community, or the Shield Walled Scald. That's a newer one. I apologize for the length of this video, but this subject is near and dear to me, so I please ask if you have the time to watch it, share it, or even just signal boost it with a like or a retweet. I'll be adding it to all of my social media accounts, and anything you are willing to do to help to get this message out would be greatly appreciated. I was nominated by one of my oldest friends to do 25 push-ups for 25 days with 25 friends to promote good mental health. And while I do think that's a commendable effort to bring the issue to the attention of your social media viewers, as someone who has struggled with my own issues in the past, I wanted to instead sit down and weigh in on this issue. We are in an unprecedented time in our lives. A lot of us have been isolated from our families, blood tied or chosen, uh, forced to adapt to the new realities of this crisis in ways that are causing strain, or are overwhelmed by our concern for our at-risk companions. For a lot of you with existing mental health concerns, this may be one of the most difficult times in your life. Uh, for those of you who have been support for others, it may be more stress than you've had to bear in the past on top of your own troubles. You might feel alone, lost, or burnt out. If you are falling into one of these categories, I want to encourage you to reach out, not just to your friends or loved ones, but to the people who are actually trained to deal with these kinds of challenges and who have dedicated their time and effort to learning how these problems work on a fundamental level and who not only want to help, but know what they're actually doing. We're living in a time where, while it's not completely vanished, the stigma against mental health challenges is steadily declining, even if it's ever so slowly. We're living in a time where the help you might need just might be in the professional services offered in your country. And I think you owe it to yourself to try every single thing out there to bring yourself back up to where life can be positive. Even if you're just fighting for the occasional good day, even if you're fighting just to survive. As a resident of British Columbia, I'm going to highlight some of the services um, in our area that might be able to help you. Uh, first off is 911. Um, if you're ever truly worried that you or someone you care about is in immediate danger from a mental health crisis, call them. You may worry that you're bugging them with something inconsequential or that it's not enough of an emergency, but if your gut is telling you that something needs to be done, you should listen to it. Trust me. Trust me when I say you might just make the call that keeps someone from passing over. Second is the unfortunately named 1-800-SUICIDE. Uh, this line can not only serve as a way to inform professionals of your troubles or those of someone in crisis, but can prepare you to provide support, make a plan to ensure the safety of the individual, and connect you to additional resources for professional help. Their responders are also trained to speak directly with affected individuals, should you have any concerns about assessing the risk or providing support yourself. Lastly is one I only learned about today while I was researching for this video. Um, 811 is a free of charge phone number. 
um, that provides provincial health information and advice um, over the phone in BC. By calling 811, you can speak to a health service navigator who can help you find health information and services or connect you directly with a registered nurse, a registered dietitian, a qualified exercise professional, or a pharmacist. Any one of these healthcare professionals will help you get the information you need to manage your health concerns or those of your family or friends, and you bet your ass that I'm going to be using that myself while I'm working towards getting myself fighting fit for the next LARP season. I want you to know that you're not alone in this struggle, and that I'm fighting this battle right beside you, and you're worthy. You are worthy of putting the effort into your mental health. Find every tool you can to shore yourself up and fight for the good days. If your first strategy doesn't work, reevaluate, try something else. If you're down and struggling, do what you need to do to rally and try again and again and again because no one's going to do it for you. Everyone's fighting their own battle and meaningful change has to start from within. So along with my friends doing their 25 push-ups for mental health, I would like to challenge you to take a good hard look at your situation and if you're struggling, don't rely solely on your friends, but go and get the aid you need from the people who are trained for the task. With all the love and compassion I can muster for you, my friends, I hope this helps.